You may have some concerns about um, the outcome of your diabetic neuropathy, and, and let's talk a little bit about that. First of all, if you have diabetic neuropathy, the symptoms should be equal in your right and left side. If they're not, you may have something else. You may have the most common other factor could be uh, a disc in your, in your lower back that's leading to pain, which can be very much like diabetic neuropathy pain, affecting just one, one leg or one foot. So it's important to really uh, clarify with your physician or your caretaker um, that the pain is indeed symmetric or equal in, in both right and left sides. So that's an important possible cause for the pain in your, in your leg or your foot. Secondly, uh, untreated diabetic neuropathy, particularly in those patients that have loss of feeling, doesn't always need to lead to amputation of your foot or your limb. The important thing is that you recognize you have the problem, if you have numbness, to do a careful examination of your feet every single day. And if you have trouble seeing, have another family member help you examine your, your, your feet. To wear appropriate footwear, you wanna wear white cotton socks so that if you do have an injury, you might uh, pick it up on the, on the white sock. And also wear appropriate shoes. We actually prescribe uh, shoes for our patients that are extra wide so nothing rubs on their toes or on the top of the foot. Um, and make sure your, shoe, your footwear is, is appropriate. We replace shoes every three to six months so that patients don't have issues with their footwear. So wide shoes with good support, uh, not necessarily ankle level shoes, but um, shoes that have good ankle support. And then cotton socks, which will help um, with absorption of perspiration and will also allow you to detect if you do have an ulcer on your foot.